Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. In this video today, we are going to be putting two masks against each other. This is a Miss Spa V-Venom plumping sheet mask that says it's supposed to give you smoother and firmer skin. And this is a Global Beauty Care Collagen Mask that is supposed to help with firm tone and revi re revive skin elasticity, help with the appearance of fine line and wrinkles. So I'm going to test this. This is the one I tested today. This is the one I tested the other day. So we're going to compare. We're going to see, like, are these sheet masks worth it? Do we see immediate results afterwards? Because really, like a lot of these masks, they say that you're supposed to use it one time. Well, why would I pay like 12 to $25 for a mask if I'm just going to use it one time when I could go get a cream? and use it multiple times. So if you guys don't know, a lot of times I will get these masks and I will stick it back in the packaging because sometimes these packagings, like this one and this one, have a lot, a lot of liquid in them. So I will refold the mask and put it in. And because, you know what, who wouldn't? I mean, you wanna stretch that dollar as much as possible. So um, if you guys are wondering if these are good, let's go ahead and just jump on over to that video. If you guys are wondering why I look different, it's because I'm trying out these contacts. Like, they're humongous. Look at them. I don't know if I like them. Eric doesn't like them. He says, I like your natural brown eyes. But whatever, we're trying something new. Contacts are back in. Anyways, did this make a difference in the skin? Let's go ahead and just jump on over to the reviews. And I will tell you at the end of the video, my final thoughts and opinions. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's morning time and we are going to be trying this mask. It says Bee Venom by uh, Miss Spa. I got this at Ulta. And yes, this sucker actually has bee venom. It is supposed to be the ultimate in firming bee venom and royal jelly protein helps enhance skin texture and elasticity. We all want that because when we hit a certain age, we start losing the elasticity. That's why you start seeing more saggy skin certain places. And we just want everything to stay nice, tight, and perfect. If I read some of these ingredients, guys, like some of the first ingredients are water, glycerin, uh, aloe vera, leaf gel, licorice root, uh, honey, bee venom, uh, royal, ro yeah, royal jelly protein. Has a few other ingredients. I don't know what they are, but those are the ones that I know and that you probably know as well. So are you wondering, should you get this? I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and try it on my skin. This here is manufactured in... It says designed and developed in the U.S. Designed and developed in the USA. Manufactured in Taiwan. So let's go ahead and try it. Because I'm kind of wondering, is it going to feel like I'm putting bee venom on my skin? <laughs> I don't know. I hope sure. I surely hope not. So we open it up. The packaging is upside down. Well, it was manufactured in Taiwan. <laughs> I don't have anything against people in Taiwan. <laughs> I'm just saying it should be upright. <laughs> So let's go ahead and open it up. It actually feels pretty darn heavy duty. And it says we're supposed to wear it for 20 minutes and relax. Well, I'm gonna wear it for 20 minutes and I'm going to straighten my hair and get ready for the day. So let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna get some scissors really quick. Okay, so the back of it says the Venom Plumping Sheet Mask made in Taiwan, but it says distributed by uh, Miss Spa and then it gives a address in Illinois and then it says 24 hour hangover London, UK. I don't know, go figure guys. Right? Okay, I have to get the scissors because obviously I broke a nail and don't want to break any more. So let's hope I'm not cutting the mask. Look how much liquid is in this sucker. You see that? It says you're only supposed to use it once, but you guys know me. I'll stick it back in this container with the liquid and reuse it. Well, yeah, because if you can rehydrate the mask, Okay, this feels different. This is not what I thought it was going to. There is liquid in here. So if I can rehydrate this mask and use it twice, why not? Hey, get your money's worth. Stretch that dollar. Okay. This is feels weird. It feels like, if you guys can see, it feels like a thick paper with holes. And it's extremely, extremely wet. You guys can see the liquid right there shining the reflectant off the lights. You can see how, how much, look at this, how much liquid's on it. Okay, here we go, let's pull it off. Pull it off. Let's 
very interesting. I actually feel like it's too, it is too mass. Three, what the? Okay, I don't understand this. There's two different layers. What in the heck, what the heck? Hold on guys, I gotta read the directions again. I didn't think, like, why are there two? Okay, it says carefully, it says carefully unfold the mask, remove protective backing and align the, align that side of the mask to your face. Then pat, okay, then pat dry, wear for 20 minutes. I don't get it, why is it there, why is there two? So am I supposed to wear the whole thing? Is it supposed to be? I don't, I guess so, because I removed the plastic. So this is a thick, thick, look, like a uh, paper towel, towel-like. And then this sucker is like a thin that will rip. So I, maybe you're supposed to just put it on like this, the whole thing. That's weird. It doesn't even have an opening really for my lips. So maybe it's supposed to go over my lips. Here we go. Am I supposed to put it on this way or the other way? I would think this way. I think the soft paper on the outside. And it says avoid your eyes. Okay, so. I'm supposed to go over the lips? I don't know. Let me look. Hold on. No, look at the picture, guys. It shows that it's not on her lips. I don't know. So it feels super cold. And obviously you don't want to get it in your eyes because this is like venom. Let me see if I can get it here. But then it's just, it's not cut. Okay, wait. It's like, the way they did the mouth is weird. You have to like force it open and then push it down and Okay, it's very, very tight. <sighs> stay on, stay on. Okay guys, I'm just gonna have to put it over the lips and talk through the mask because it just, it doesn't work and it doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to. No wonder they're saying relax. I think you have to go like lay down maybe so for it to stay because if I'm like upright, look it, it just wants to like fall off. Okay, so if I'm laying down let me see. You can push it all down and see if it will stay. Uh, the material of the mask doesn't really want to stay on the cor right here in the corners of my nose because it's such a tight material. Was I supposed to remove this blue one? If I did, I don't think so. I think, guys, I'm gonna have to lay down. Shoot. Because <sighs> it's not staying down like it's supposed to. It comes up and off. Mm, look how much liquid. So, yeah. You know what, guys? I'm gonna lay down for 20 minutes. Oh, wow. So, this liquid on the hands feels like gel when I was rinsing it off. I'm going to take you guys to lay down with me. Okay, guys, I'm laying on my back, and I'm going to have to push this all back down because it doesn't want to stay. You see, it doesn't want to stay attached to my skin when I'm, like, up. Let's see if it will stay attached. Alexa, set an alarm mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Start Push it. I'm going to try to push it here on my nose because it doesn't touch here. You can see that. And look, it still is coming up off my lips and my chin, which is weird, right? Just maybe I can't talk, that's why. Maybe that's why they tell you to relax. But you can see the parts right here is not touching. And most people want it to be right here in their lines. Let's see. To get those smile lines. 
And if I squeeze the mask closer, it's going to get in my eye because this material is not flexible. Okay, guys, I'm going to start talking. I'll come back in 20 minutes. I'm not going to move. And we're going to see if this sucker stayed down or not. Well, I will say that was one darn good little nap. But look, so any place that it's curved, like it's, you know, I have, uh, like your lip goes down. It only stays in the top portion of the lip. It doesn't stay through the whole thing. You guys can see it lifted in my laugh lines. And it stayed down mostly in the forehead on the cheeks. So I had to cover myself with the with the nap with the blanket because it got like extremely like a cold almost like you put uh, uh those one of those cooling gels on your face on my lips it got really really cold and in certain areas it got kind of cold which made my whole body cold but let's go to the restroom and take this thing off hey guys so you can see i've just been standing up for like a minute and look at that it's already like falling off the face so let's go ahead and pick this off So I have a pimple right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And kind of kind of feels like uncomfortable. Like it hurts a little bit. How does it feel? My skin is a little sticky. Oh, and a little slimy. I'll tell you that on the forehead. Gotta rub it in. Mm, I don't know why it kind of hurts right here. Kind of like when you poke at a pimple. Okay, so it's absorbing really good into the skin. Yeah, so as a pat the remaining fluid into your skin, avoiding the eye area. So it's cold, like to the touch, like my, my skin feels really cold. Like just putting my hands on it, it feels like it's warming up and the heat coming off my hands is a lot compared to the temperature of my skin on my, on the outside of my face. So let me go ahead and take a picture and let's go ahead and compare. I, I took a picture right before I put this mask on and I'm, we're going to compare that to this. So I'm going to actually look at the photos and come back after I've done my hair and tell you guys, did I see a difference? I'm going to zoom each photo in side by side and compare. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting here doing the editing, looking, comparing photo by photo. I'm going to show you guys really quick the photos and you guys let me know if you see a difference. Okay, so you guys were able to look at the photos. Now, honestly, when you look at the fit front profile to the front profile, I really don't see a difference. The only thing that I saw was maybe one of the laugh lines right here. That, no, well, actually, this is a laugh line. I don't know what this is considered. One of the lines here on the side profile, you guys can see. So you can't tell so much. Well, you can actually tell in the front. But when I turn to the side, you can see this line. I think a little bit more in the before picture than in the after. Other than that, I really didn't see a difference. Do I feel a difference in my face? No, not really. I did notice that maybe my lips, maybe it shrunk one of my lips. <laughs> so if you rewind a few seconds and look at one of the pictures, one of the side profile pictures look like the after, like my top lip was smaller, which would kind of make sense if it was, uh, if it's a firming uh, type of, serum B venom on the mask uh so maybe it did make my top lip a little bit more firm so to speak shrinking it at the same time but this mask has no opening for the mouse for the mouth as you saw it's just a a slit that they cut instead of actually cutting up cutting a hole in it to go around the the lips so that is my conclusion what do you guys think uh we're gonna try another mask tomorrow and see hey is it good is it not good? I don't know. We will see tomorrow.
So let's go ahead and open this up and try it on. As you guys can see, I had a pimple. I popped it. I don't think uh, the blood's dry. I don't think you're supposed to be putting a mask on top of a breakout, but we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> so open it. Let's pull it out. This one looks just like a regular sheet. Whoa, okay. I was going to say it looks like a regular sheet mask, but when you squish it, look. A lot, a lot of liquid, as you can see, but you squish. And can you see the texture? Look, let me get a little closer. You see that? It feels very jelly-like. Very jelly, and it's very early in the morning, so we're going to cross our fingers and hope this helps with our skin all today because later I have a live stream. I try to do a live stream once a week, and I'm trying to do it on Sunday. Can I express, I can't express to you guys anymore when I tell you, like, it is wet. It is, like, soaking wet. Heavy soaking wet, which is not a bad thing at all. Because some of the masks that I pull out of these packages have like just a little bit of fluid on them. But this one is pretty darn freaking hydrated. Wet, slippery. Okay, so we open it up all the way. Let's go ahead and try it on. We're going to time it to just like we did the other one. This one's interesting because the you have to peel down the eyes. Which makes... Okay. Make me feel a little uncomfortable knowing that they can pop up into my eyes. Okay. And I'll pull the nose down. And this one's the same thing. It doesn't have a slit for it. Like it doesn't have an opening for the lips. But look, it's so wet, it just kind of, everything kind of sticks on the skin. So it's... Maybe I'm supposed to use these openings to get it as close under the eye? I would think so. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool. I was thinking like, oh, I don't want them to pop up, but you can actually push them further below the eye. Soaking wet. Feels good. Not falling off. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my hair and stuff for the day. I'll be back to let you guys know how it feels. Or if my skin looks different. Shoot, I forgot to take a before picture. Oh, I'll just do a still a still picture from the video. And we'll compare that. I'll see you guys in a bit. So it's only been like two minutes and this is what I was fearing. You see how the this one wants to pop up? No, we want it to stay down. That's what I don't want to happen is for it to pop up in my eye as I'm moving around and stuff. And the directions on this one says to wash it off, all the residue, immediately after 15 minutes so that you don't have any type of an allergic reaction to the to the uh, liquid being on your face, which is interesting. Okay, so that was a 15 minute timer. Let's go ahead and fill this off. I was not able to do all my hair. I will have to say, oh wow, look. <laughs> look at this, look, 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 look. When I peel off the mask, you can see where the blood was, or the pimple, right there. Anyways, I will have to say, this one feels like it's bee venom. <laughs> Let me go ahead and rinse off uh, my skin because like it says to rinse it off. If you wanted to reuse this mask, you could because there is so much liquid still in there. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face off real quick. <clears throat> oh, that's what I was fearing. Shit. Ute. Sorry. So, uh, wow. I'm so red looking. I look like I'm sunburned. Let's wait a few minutes because I, I wipe my face dry really, really good. My skin feels cold. It doesn't feel cold to the touch, but it feels cold. Let me take a picture. We'll compare it to the other photo. This, 
this just feels like I just popped it. It doesn't feel any different, but my skin. What the heck? My skin. Well, my skin feels like numb. Wow, weird. Especially my forehead. So it looks like the redness is going down. When I was wearing it, it feels very like irritating to my skin. It almost felt like this had the bee venom in it. Um, it was cold. My skin feels so cold. Like, yeah, I guess there's certain areas like back here that's really, really cold. But it's weird. It almost feels like I put like a little bit of an aura gel on my face. And I don't know if that's the reaction my skin's having because it's so cold, but it feels like a little numbing. Kind of like when you go to the dentist and they numb your gum. Let's give it a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I was looking at the pictures and I was comparing the mask that I wore today and I really honestly didn't see a difference. All I saw was like my skin looked a little bit more sunburned uh, overall. I don't know, I'd, like I was supposed to take a picture right before I put the mask on, my bad, I forgot. So I, um, to me, I went through all the video steals that I could get and I really compared and that was the best photo that I could show you guys where it wasn't blurry or anything like that or I was, you know, comparing the before and after. I really didn't see that big of a difference. But I do have to say that the mask is kind of like, mm, what would I say? So I'm going to say the collagen mask that I wore is interesting because it did give me like this whole numbing effect to my skin, which almost made me feel like my my forehead wasn't moving as much like like I was in more of a relaxed state it sounds so weird to say it's almost like I was very aware that my skin was numb so I was like just relaxed relaxed think about it like when your lip goes numb or something it's kind of like you talk like this so you really don't flex it as much and it's not creating wrinkles because it's just kind of like it's not moving in and out like that you know it's just kind of like like you're talking like this you know so I felt like that on certain portions of my face. Now, what do I think about that? Honestly, I think that might be a plus plus because it makes you aware to not be the, to frown and it makes the skin feel like it's more relaxed. And I think overall, uh, if you use it over and over, it would be beneficial. Um, uh, I will find a link to this one if you guys want to check it out. I know this is relatively very cheap as far as when it comes to the bee venom. Like, I really didn't see a huge difference, guys, honestly. I mean, you saw my reaction. You saw how it felt. It felt good. It felt very, very cold on the skin, as both of them actually felt very, very cold on the skin. But is it something that you purchase that you're going to see a tremendous difference? No, not right away. No, I honestly, truly would say that you have to use these over and over and over to see a difference. But I do want you to see, like... You can see how puffy and, and thick and cushiony this is. And how puffy and thick and cushiony this is. So there is plenty of plenty of liquid in both of these masks. Uh, if you're wondering how much the bee venom costs, I'll post it right here. And if you're wondering how much the collagen spa treatment one costs, I'll post it right here. Um... There is plenty of liquid to use this over and over. Why do I like sheet masks? Just because I feel personally, like, let's say that, well, I, actually, personally, I don't like paper sheet masks as, as well or as much as I like rubber sheet masks. I feel like a rubber doesn't ever dry out. But I do like the fact that these one, these these two sheet masks have so much liquid that they're not going to dry out because I've tried plenty of masks and they have just like barely any liquid to where you could only honestly use it once and then it dries out right away on your face. And these have so much liquid, I feel that you could use it over and over. But why do I like sheet masks? Because I feel like I could pump in, I could 
pump in a serum in here. I could drop in an oil in here. I could mix a little bit of water with a with my serum or with some oil and put it in here and wear this sheet mask so I can get longevity out of just the mask itself, you know, adding my own ingredients. But did I like them? Yeah, they're all right. Did I see a big difference in my skin? No, not really. Did I feel a big difference in my skin? Yes, like both of them were cold. Um, maybe one of the lines from the V mask was a little bit shorter. So that would maybe, but I know like I was looking at the photos and I said my upper lip and the V mask was a little bit smaller. That was really hard to see in the photo. I had to look through like, like photo after photo, after photo, after photo to see that. And it was barely any, but I think it's kind of funny because the B venom says it's plumping, but then it's firming and then the collagen, well, it is what it is. Like, that's just their description. I'm telling you what it did to my skin. I do like, if I had to pick a winner of both of them, between both of them, I kind of like this one better just because I, I, I'm not going to say that I dig the numbing effect, but I can see where the numbing effect would be a little bit more beneficial for the skin as far as making you aware, as far as your forehead and your muscles being a little bit more relaxed. Because I don't know about you guys, you guys, but I hold a lot of tension in my forehead. By always picking up my eyebrows or being like focused on something, you know, I hold a lot of tension in my forehead. The fact that this kind of numbed it a little bit and gave it that soothing effect. I did kind of like that. Did I see a difference in my skin? No, I didn't really. So I would say if you're going to see a difference in your skin, a physical, like, well, that's a difference in my skin if my skin is like more relaxed. But like as far as quality, as far as like uh, age spots or wrinkles and things like that. No, I would actually assume that you'd have to use this over and over and over, which it has so much product in it, you can. Did I like the bee venom? I did. Uh, did I see a huge difference? No. Did I, did, did I like the fact that it fell off my face? No. Did I like the fact that I couldn't stand up and use it like I do others? No. Uh, I didn't like that I had to lay down. And I didn't like that it didn't push down in certain areas. But that little line, I don't know. You guys, I really didn't see like a huge difference. Did you, you guys shoot off, sound off below and let me know. Did you see a huge difference from one mask to the other? Would you even purchase it? I don't know, you know, but um, that is my opinion. That's what I think about these masks. I will post any links to them down below so you guys can check out the description, what the manufacturer says about them, what the company says about them, um, whether you believe what they say or is it just me over thinking like, Come on, like plumping and firming. I, I don't think plumping, I don't put plumping and firming together. I mean, like, well, maybe like, you know, when you get pregnant and your belly comes out, it looks like it's tighter. So I guess that's a plumping and firming. <laughs> so, but my face didn't look so plumped. <laughs> Anyways, sound off down below, guys. Let me know what you think of these masks. I uh, hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Let's go ahead and just jump on over to the quote of the day. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.